Well, Idris, how have you found this week here at St George's Park? You enjoyed the intensity? No, it's been really good. The facilities are perfect. The food's good. And it's just, it's just good to be just here for football and just getting it done. Uh, obviously, you had a couple of games out here as well. You, you uh, played obviously at right wing back. You enjoy that role on, on Wednesday or Tuesday, whenever you play. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. It's been a different test than the other games because normally um, against the other teams, I've just been winning all my battles and I've been just dominating. So against a good left back, a good team, it involves different stuff. Like I've got to like adapt to it and make different decisions at the right time. And I thought that was good because to to improve, you got to play against the best. Right wing back is probably a role that when you first came here, if you were talking about you in two years and say you're going to play right wing back, you'd have probably been like, what? But actually, the attributes that you have kind of suits that role. Yeah, like, I didn't think about it at the time, but gradually starting to play, that, it's a role that I can play and I like it. So I'm getting an understanding of it like, much better in training, the gaff is helping, it's still going well. And I guess because you've got the pace and, and the power and the, and the desire to get past people, then it's almost like being a right winger anyway. Yeah, when, when we're attacking, I'm um, basically a right winger. Because it's only when you're defending and there's a sort of block and stuff like that, you're really back defending. But other than that, it's just 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v2s. So it's just, you just have your own space. And it's a, a demanding role. There's a lot of energy that's required in those positions. Everyone says that if you're going to pick a position and you have to do all the running, that would not be it. Because it's, it's a blow, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very tiring. But that's why we do pre-season, to get ourselves up to up to speed and I feel like it's working. And seeing you in the gym earlier on today, that's something that you, you, you seem to enjoy as well because that's part and parcel of football, isn't it? Everyone talks about what you do on the pitch but you've got to make sure you're in tip-top condition off it. Yeah, like um, from a young age, um, getting into men's football early, knowing that like, sometimes you've got to try to improve yourself to be able to compete better with um, some of these bigger pros, meaner pros, nastier people. Like You've just got to get stronger. So I felt like... Um, getting myself in the gym and like enjoying it because some people do gym and they don't enjoy yeah. it but if you enjoy it you can get the most out of it. Yeah, do you, have you found when you've been playing matches in men's football particularly over the last say 12 months that you've noticed that by doing the work in the gym you are getting a few rewards in that? Yeah, I feel like um, more people are bouncing off of me or if I'm dribbling at someone I could take that contact if they're trying to bot, like push me off the ball I can take it and ride it so I feel like I'm getting stronger and I feel faster and I, feel, I just feel better at mm. everything. It's, it's interesting because you look at um, that particular right wing back role and you would assume based on what the games are and training that it's you and Wardy kind of fighting for that spot. You offer two very different kind of styles, don't you? Wardy is more sort of get out of his feet and cross, he can get past people but he's a different, different sort of style and I guess that's nice for the manager to have two different blends if he wants to go with two different yeah. players. I see, I see Wardy, Wardy's got a great ball, he can still beat people. I, I even watch him and even try to implement it into my game, being able to cross the ball early or not even having to beat my guy all the time, just cross it. So if you see the game, sometimes I'm trying to just put balls in the box, even though I know I can beat him mm. every time. It's just about, it's, it's good because we both offer different stuff, but we both try to learn from each other and just watch each other. Play, and in that game uh, in midweek, obviously you link well with with Mo, and actually got into the box in a central position. So that does allow you to, to sort of get where you want to be. Yeah, I feel like um, sometimes when it's just me out there by myself, it's always a one v one, and like not every situation mm. that involves you having to be him. I feel like when a striker comes and links with me, it just opens up everything because like I can I like playing one twos and like linking with other people. Mm. It's just easier. And, and in games, whether it be 23 football, whether it be um, you know games behind closed doors, whatever it may be, you've shown your desire to obviously score goals. So you, you're keen to have add that, add that kind of facet to you. Yeah, game. if it's if this crossing from the left wing back, I'm trying to be in the box every single time. Obviously, it's hard work because you know not every time the ball's going to fall to you in the box and you've got to run back, but it's just having the desire to do it every, every time, then you're going to pick up goals in the season. It's funny because when we spoke, I think we spoke with uh, you and Serhat probably this time last year and we were describing you as the young guns and now you look in that dressing room and you've got Ricky, Harrison, Sam, there's just so many of a similar age. Yeah. It's hard to know and it was funny we were talking about Louis Reed about the same sort of thing, where you class yourself as. Are you a youngster? Are you in that next block? Are you, are you experienced? What, what do you describe yourself as? Well, I, I still get put in the, the young block but I'm trying to 
obviously no disrespect to them, but I'm trying to differentiate myself with them and like try to be more involved in this in the first team mm. and try to become a solid person in that team. So I'm I'm trying to like be a bit different from them, but I'm still we still come from the same place. Mm. But I'm trying to cement myself in the first team. Yeah, because it's difficult, isn't it, when you're a young player and you, you want to become a first team player. And as you say, sometimes habits can be that you're surrounded by the same age group all of the time and you have to interact because ultimately that's going to help you in the, in the dressing room and also on the pitch. Yeah, like um, we do extra 23 sessions and I, I love it because I'm, I'm having another session. But obviously when we're training in the first session with the other older lads, I try to put my foot, foot around, try to like, just press, do everything I can to be noticed. So I feel like that's the main thing and I've got to take advantage of the 23 sessions because it's one more session that they don't have. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, it's been a long time since we've played football and, and lockdown was uh, a, dra a drag for everybody, wasn't it? How did you cope during that period of time? Uh, in lockdown, I was, I was playing football. I was I was doing gym in my garden. Mm. I was playing football. Like I had a kind of a routine. I wake up, I do either gym or football, mm. one or the other. Then in the evenings, because it was um, Ramadan, so I was, sometimes I was fasting, so I'll go for a run in the evening mm. during that period. But I felt I kept quite busy. If I wasn't gaming, I was, I was definitely doing my work. Yeah, how hard was Ramadan during that particular period? Uh, it's, probably the easiest, it's probably the easiest time I've had, okay. because I'm at home. I don't need to worry about, obviously, waking up, training, mm. I can just chill. Then I know... Is it, um, I can break my fast in the night time, go for my run afterwards. I did try a run during it, <laughs> I didn't try it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, as you say, it's something that gets overlooked in, in football. The, the, obviously, with Ramadan, the, the pressures that you go through on a, on a daily basis, added to the fact that you might be doing a double session or a, a session that's punishing. Yeah. And, you know, people forget what you go through. It's, it's a big sacrifice. Yeah, during, normally during training, it's, it's so hard because... Like some people don't understand that sometimes training is harder than a match day. Obviously, some footballers fast during a match. Mm. But if you prepare yourself the night before and you're hydrated and all the right levels, you could get through it. But in training, that like you're doing more running, it's, it's more. It's not more intense, but it's like more blocks of it mm. in the game. And you have to be mentally strong during that period as well, because obviously, as you said, preparation for a training session is, is so key because you, you don't want to be in a situation whereby you can't give your best. Yeah, because you you know as soon as you wake up if you're going to be able to do it or not because if you don't take care of yourself the night before, you're going to wake up. You, you know when you wake up, you just feel thirsty. Mm. Just Even if you go to the toilet and it's it's dark, like you just know you haven't taken care of yourself. So it's just about making the right decisions the night before and just making it easier for yourself. Mm. I think there's a couple in, in, in the squad that have been yeah. doing exactly the same thing. Is that nice to, to not do it alone? It's, it's easier when you have um, people doing it with you because if, if you're by yourself, like, it can be a bit of a distraction or it's just like not someone carrying you through it and like, no one's helping you. But it's so much easier with Sir Hatmo and Dems. Mm. Obviously, in terms of the season, which is coming around very fast, because the games are going to be so condensed, there's going to be so many games, the squad's going to be used all the time. Do you, do you look forward to that? Because, as I say, opportunity is there for everybody. Yeah, I'm... I'm Looking for, I've seen the fixtures that it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. The amount of fixtures are gonna be, so I'm just trying to be involved as much as I can and try to cement myself. But obviously, obviously I'm still 20, so playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday mm. is gonna, be, you can't expect it. Mm. So I know the score is gonna be used, and hopefully everyone's ready. I think everyone's gonna be ready. It's it's a weird thing to say, but sleep is going to be remarkably important during this season isn't it because because the recovery and it's going to be so punishing and you, you may have a recovery down on Wednesday go again on Thursday but because a lot of these uh, games on a Tuesday are going to be away from home long journeys it's it's important that you know you get your rest as well nah when it comes to sleep nah, you don't need to worry about <laughs> sleep <laughs> no nah, but it's um it's about how we take care of ourselves as soon as the game's finished you know mm. what I mean on what we do on our rest day because it's like, so easy to pick up an injury like when there's so many games. So I think we just all got to take care of ourselves and just be mm. ready. You mentioned gaming there. What's your what's your game? What, are you, uh, I know you're the, you you play a bit of FIFA. I, I do play a bit of FIFA, um, but I play Call of Duty as well. That's that's probably my game as well. Solo or do you go multiplayer? Um, Warzone and multiplayer. I have a, I have my team. 
Yeah. Of the team. Did you develop, because when Marcus was here, we spoke to him and he actually found it quite relaxing. He found a bit of a distraction, probably took it a bit, a bit more extreme in terms of how long he was playing it. But did you get a little bit of sort nah, of realism I, to it? I feel like um, when I'm gaming, if I have that, like, see, when I've done everything, it's just like I'm just in a different place, if that mm. makes sense. Like, I don't have to worry about checking my phone, like seeing all the distractions that can be on your phone. Like, mm. It's just something else. It's just away from everything. Are you, the, are you the FIFA king here or what? I, I, I used to be, but I'll see um, Dems and Ben are up there as well. Yeah, Dem, Dems, Dems talks, talks a good game though, doesn't he? he does. Yeah, Dems, Dems puts in the hours as well. He does put in the hours up there. Do you play, do you play, do you pick yourself, ultimate team? Do you get yourself involved? Where do you play yourself if you were going to play with FIFA? Are you up front? I'm, I'm up front, <laughs> trying to get as many goals as I can. 